Hello everybody. I wanted to give you an update on what's happening <clears throat> with the ministry. Um, music Through Compassion, mtcworld.tv. If you want to go read my story and uh, look at where I started over 30 years ago, uh, singing to the elderly, you can go to my website. It's mtcworld.tv. And um, this whole thing has really been amazing because I I was an executive, a senior executive for a large company, an international company for several years, and I've uh, done a big, a lot of big jobs, and God led me into this uh, call that He called on me. Uh, Rick called me into it over 30 years ago, actually when I became a Christian. I just never really stepped into it like I have now, and uh, really got my priorities right. So, um, you know, I don't know if you guys know me or not, but if you hear this, you'll know that I took a full-time job uh, selling windows and doors as a sales consultant for Home Depot and I have about 50 square miles that I travel. So I'm traveling about two, 300 miles a week, easy. Um, not just with the windows and the doors, but also playing music uh, in these homes. And um, I'm giving them a good price for the homes. You know, I, I don't take them to the cleaners. I charge them $120 for a one-off, or uh, if they want to put me in their calendar and book me over a longer period of time, then I'll drop it down to $95 a gig and sometimes I drive an hour away to get that, you know, so it's not really about the money. It's it's more about following the call. It does cover some of my cost because there is a lot of cost involved in my car and the wear and tear of my car. Um, but like with Home Depot, I'm working 100% commission um, and uh, it's a great company to work for. There are some things that are going wrong uh, that I see along the way, but um, I don't really want to get into that position because that's where I was before. So being a senior manager, manager, you have to carry all of that stuff, you know, and I just don't want to do that because my focus is now on the ministry. And uh, I'm still the collector of unwanted stuffed animals. Um, still need some help there. If you guys hear this, cry out for support. You know, if you don't want to support uh, by giving me uh, work, and I say work would either be referral to another a senior citizen home or a memory unit or a nursing home or a rehab or a adult daycare. I play at any one of those and I'll bring a lot of joy to them. I'll get them singing and really make them feel loved and pray with them and worship with them. Um, so that's one way you can help me. The other way is that you can refer me to someone that needs windows or doors uh, because Home Depot's got just a, cra a great deal. It's, it's unbeatable really. I've been uh, thriving, doing fairly good, uh, helping people get their windows in their homes. So <clears throat> I just wanted to uh, put that out there. I'm not asking for any money. I just uh, need referrals. I need stuffed animals and uh, maybe some connections to some homes that need for me that need me to sing. I'm up to about 25. Sometimes it pendles between 25 and 30 homes a month, depending on what month it is. Uh, my average is about 18 to 25 homes a month. Some of them call me spontaneously and, you know, at the beginning of every month and tell me, hey, you know, can you come on this day? And I try to make sure I, I don't miss any of that. The craziest thing is that I have a, I've got a boss that uh, is just incredible. He just blocks me so that I can actually keep going with this music. He knows what it means to me and what it means to the elderly and he really wants to be a part of it. So I feel like he's donating to my ministry by making sure that my calendar doesn't get hit uh, with appointments for Windows. So um, even though it might sound like, you know, wow, how can you get somebody to do that? I'm running just as many appointments as the other guys. So I keep my calendar open seven days a week when I'm not singing. And I go on Sundays, I go on Friday nights, I go during the week at night, you know, and I'll go out to someone's house and, you know, tell them about the window, show them what we got, measure get them a good quote and uh, lifetime warranty and everything that we offer is just really amazing. And, uh, you know, just see how I can help people. And if I don't get the job, I, I love on them and thank them and, and tell them that if they want to talk to me later, they're more than welcome to come uh, reach out to me, you know. So um, the coolest thing that's happened lately is that uh, I was asked to start worshiping in a German, uh, German church in Atlanta. It's called the Atlanta German Church. It's basically in a in a fairly large room in the uh, Lutheran Redeemer Cathedral downtown. And I'm really excited about that. 
because uh, that's kind of helped uh, me and my wife come back together and uh, Bernadette is helping me and she's such a great musician and has such a great voice um, when we harmonize it really does sound good so I'm really excited about that we did our first gig there uh, it was a, it was a baptism and went really well uh, we had one little hiccup but it, I don't even think anybody noticed it but we were just uh, singing in German and in English, so we both uh, speak both languages and we both sing in both languages. And um, I've been doing worship for 30 years with German music, and I have a fairly large uh, library of songs that are worship songs that are uh, feasible for church services. So uh, we're catering to the Germans fairly well with that, and uh, just excited about what's going on. Pastor Dorothy, she's the lady that is the pastor of this church, and uh, Welcome to anybody that wants to come, by the way. So she's uh, uh, moving toward a non-denominational liturgy, and uh, she caters to you know Catholics and Lutherans and Protestants and whatever wants to come to her service. Um, I think there's a couple of hundred uh, parishioners involved in this church, um, probably about 40 or 50 come at a time, and um, just looking to help grow that and uh, serve that community. So... We've been called to do that too on top of it. So we're really excited and uh, just need your support. We need your prayer. We need your love. We need the stuffed animals. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm collecting them and cleaning them. And, and uh, it's amazing when you when you give one of these to uh, an elderly person that's been lonely and rejected and feels anxious and fearful that they have something to hold on to at least for a little while and get some joy and just be satisfied for a little while with that present, you know, and Hopefully through our music and through the worship, we can actually transform and ask God to uh, bring His Holy Spirit down and really heal people in their heart and their minds. And I'm just waiting for people to get up, man. I, I believe in the Holy Spirit. I've seen great miracles in my life. I'm one of them. Um, I should have died several times, and God protected me every time. And uh, I know that He's there, and I know how powerful He is and what He can do. And I'm not expecting Him to do anything because of me. I just... I'm looking forward to that day when we're singing a song and I open my eyes after praying with everybody and they're up dancing. You know, that would be so cool. And uh, just looking forward to that. So you guys keep in touch with us. We love you. Um, just keep praying for us and support us any way you can. Like I said, window gigs, door gigs, singing gigs, whatever you want. Um, you can help my ministry and our ministry by, by doing stuff like that without having to give money. Um, so um, if anybody does get us any extra work or something, we usually donate that. Last year, we put a lot of uh, singing into a home uh, where we spent several hundred dollars of our time uh, singing for people that couldn't pay for it. And it's okay. It's a love offering, and that's what we want to do. Um, uh, but it's nice when we can get our, our costs covered. So just keep praying for us. I think God's got something big in store. He wants to grow this. and. He wants to, uh, you know, fix things and, and create love and healing in our neighborhoods and in our communities. And we have to be the example, right? I mean, uh, that's the only way it's going to start. So if we're uh, uh, forgiving and, and nice to people that are close around us, then it spreads like fire. So, and the fire is the Holy Spirit, and we know what that can do. So you guys, thank you so much for listening to me, and uh, God bless you, and I love you all, and I just pray that God heals you and your families and that he restores relationships and that he uh, helps you to reconcile with each other and uh, stand up fresh every morning and start following him uh, the way you really want to and the way he wants us to. So God bless you. Thank you so much. Take care.